Thank you, Dornbirn. Thank you for having me, and thank you for, yeah, letting me know that I'm speaking today. <laughs> Just like a few hours ago, literally. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I would like to excuse me myself because this talk was supposed to be like a lightning talk. Um, and I tried to make it like longer, but I don't know if it's... It's still probably not the full-blown talk, but I think um, because it's it's so important to me, I still wanted to uh, do it um, and talk about this thing. Um, and let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Andrei. I'm originally from Russia, uh, but I live in Vienna for past almost 10 years. Uh, I'm one of the co-organizers of React Vienna, so if you're in Vienna, let us know, and we might organize an event, and you could speak at it. And we also having a reason conf in May, in May. <laughs> so you should check out the website, um, subscribe to newsletter because we still don't sell tickets, and come to Vienna in May. And yeah, let's get back to topic. So what the hell is lint, right? And I found this definition of lint on Wikipedia. It says. Lint or a linter is any tool that flags suspicious usage in software written in any computer language. Blah, 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 blah. So I, I made my own definition. Like linter is a tool that finds stupid bugs. Point. And you know how I how, how I feel if you feel the same. Then I start working on any new project. I you know I open up a project and this tiny little things here is like. Ugh. And then I look at source code, I, I see this red thing. So basically, but all I see is like it's tunnel vision. It's like I see this thing. It's like, it's like this. It's like, and I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, like, let's fix it. How do we fix it? Do you know how to fix it? Right. Just lint all the things. And we're at, like, there are tons of linters out there, so like you can lint your text, think about it, text, like natural language. Uh, you can, of course, lint JavaScript and uh, ECMAScript. You can lint style sheets, SCSS. You can lint JSON, and you can lint basically any style sheet with style, and so even styled components, Max. Max knows about it, he wrote it. Uh, so why, why should we do that, right? Why should we lint? Um, this is kind of a definition that you could use to sell it to, to your boss. So, <clears throat> on average, software de developers spend 50% of their time finding and fixing bugs. And there's a research that proves that, so it's, I didn't make it. Uh, didn't make it up. Um, and this inefficiency is estimated to cost the global economy 312 billions per year. When I saw it, I was like, seriously? It's like, Seriously, it's literally burning money. It's like, <laughs> so if you don't lint, you're doing this. Um, but in reality, though, everyone knows. So everyone who, who is developer probably will agree with me on, on this one. So I changed the definition again a little bit. So on average, software developers spend 50% of their time discussing code style. <laughs> so and you know how it goes. It's like two guys like, ah, I'm Tops, I'm Spaces. And the third guy, so I'm, I'm like, I don't care. And, you know, <laughs> and he suffers, like, for the rest of his life. Yeah. Because, like, and he's, like, he's probably like, like I'm, good, I'm doing a good thing. Because, like, you know, if you, you don't need to uglify my code anymore, it's like, it's ugly. It's like, why are you so mad at me? <laughs> so, yeah, we know why we met at him, right? So how to fix it? Right, so one code style to rule them all. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, like, where is this tool everybody knows about, right? Who knows what pretty is? Okay, not everybody. You should check it out. It's amazing. It's, a, it's, it's, like, it's like this, but without this. So it basically it solves the, the problem. So it um, linters plus formatters can, can lead to fewer stupid bugs, and they can lead to better readability of your code, which in, in, in turn uh, 
leads to less time in code reviews, good for business. And the third thing that is kind of what I'm worrying about is like, but it still kind of slows you down, right, on a way. And, and at that moment, your boss is like, yeah, slows us down. No, 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 no lint, no. Um, and to think about it, like, let's think of a typical developer's day. <clears throat> so it's usually, like, my day goes like this. I write my code, lots of things, lots of, lots of it. And, and then I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm creating a pull request. And I'm, you know, I go for coffee or whatever, because I'm done, right? I, I submitted the pull request. And when I get, get back, I, I check my email, and I, and I go to GitHub, and it's like, bam, it's like, some checks were not successful, uh, continuous integration failed. And I'm like, oh, probably broke the whole thing. And then I go to Travis CI, and it's like, oh, yeah, it's missing semicolon, right. <laughs> and it's like, oh. <laughs> So yeah, so you go back to editor, and you fix it. it needs lots of keystrokes, but you fix it. You push it. It's green. It's all good. But still, you kind of think, why must life be so hard, right? And it's like, yeah, raise your hand. Who knows what I'm talking about? How many of you? Yeah, it's pretty much everyone, which is cool. Yeah, and I was like, how many people out were suffering from that? And I went to this pretty much known project. It's called Webpack. And I checked it. It's like one day of commits. Uh, it's like fix indentation and like fix linting, fix up ES lint issues, fix lint. <laughs> I didn't even start scrolling. It it goes like that for, you know, many many pixels. So I searched for it. I searched on GitHub. Um, so yeah, <laughs> five hundred thousand fixing linter. I didn't even try different variations. It's just like this number. Okay, remember this number. And I was like, fix indentation. That's like almost three million. <laughs> and I was like, I wish I could lean before I commit somehow. And yeah, you can do this with Git hooks. Um, but I mean, even like seriously smart guys don't know how to set up Git hooks. Because kit hooks are really hard to set up, really hard to manage, and this is really important, really hard to share across the team. Because even, even if you complete the first two steps, you still kind of, the whole team is missing it. And I've been where, and it's, 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 it's bad. So because you have only one on a team who leans, and everyone is like, ah, I don't care. And you don't want this. So you, 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 like the whole team needs to be committed. So how to fix this? Uh, so this particular issue can be fixed as easy as installing Husky, which is a nice small package. Um, it just kind of solves the problem of managing Git hooks. So all you need to do is to add to your package JSON with scripts, uh, think like pre-commit, and say what command do you want to run on pre-commit hook in this case. And imagine you, you've done that, and you start committing, and you press enter, and it's like, Ooh. and 10 minutes later, it's like 6,000, so many, many errors pops up saying like, the whole project's basically broken. You need to throw it away and rewrite. And it's cool because like Husky kind of solves some issues, but we still kind of, if you try to link the whole project every time on pre-commit hook, it's, it is slow, so if your project isn't like your homepage, it will be slow, and it will display irrelevant results, so it basically will lint the whole thing again and again. That thing kept me thinking, how, like, can, can it be solved somehow? In a way, it's like, I don't feel bad about it every time I do it. And I was like, what if we could run linters only on files we are about to commit, right? And this is where you meet lint staged. It's a project I created and I maintain. Um, and the only goal of this project, as you can see from the, the logo type, is like don't let you put bad things into repository. 
And to install it, it's, it's, it's kind of the same. It's like you need the Husky, and then you install it in staged. And the only thing you need to change is like, instead of saying in pre-commit uh, ESLint, you say lint staged. And you add this config for lint staged that basically says, uh, use ESLint for JavaScript files. And this is how it looks like. So here we have four changed files, but the only file is going to be committed. And I'm missing a semicolon here, as you can see, on purpose, of course. Um, so the next thing is happening. Uh, it runs, and you can see the errors are only displayed for this single file. So uh, there are four errors still. And this is the next problem I'm trying to solve, which I will talk in a minute. But the, the most important thing is it didn't even try to lean files you didn't want to commit yet. So it brings us to Git hooks are actually pretty much good if you know how to cook them. Uh, and there is something more. Because you, uh, in lean stage, you, you can actually do much, much more. And you, you, for example, you can automatically fix lean errors. Uh, and to do that, the only change you need is like, instead of just running ESLint, you run ESLint fix, obviously. And then you git add files back to your index. Or you can reformat your code with any, any, uh, any tool. I prefer Prettier. It's kind of a standard uh, for ECMAScript. But if you're using, like I don't know, uh, other languages, you still can use uh, lint staged. Um, if you have Node installed in your machine, so you can, yeah. So in this case, like for Prettier, it's like Prettier write and git add for all JavaScript files. Uh, you can actually use Prettier for CSS, uh, JSON, and Markdown, and there are like lots of PRs coming to support like I don't know GraphQL stuff and much more uh, more syntaxes. So it's going to be even better in future. Um, and this is how it looks now. So imagine someone wants to commit this kind of React code nobody wants to read. Um, he does a commit, and the thing that actually committed is, was that. So the whole point is like, it just goes out of your way. So this is uh, for the whole idea of uh, the whole package, just to let you do your work. Um, yeah, when I submitted this pull request to create React app, then I was like, I tried it, and I was like, ah. Which is cool. I, I like the reaction. And Bubble actually also using uh, Pre-Tier uh, with the help of ESL, uh, Lint staged on the whole code base, uh, which is also kind of uh, a good proof for the whole project for me. Uh, so it kind of tested on scale. Um, and you might ask, how does it like how does it work, right? Um, so in the beginning, uh, the, like the initial version was pretty much this. So I created a bash file that literally just run this staged file thing and ESLint -E on them and uh, used these extensions, but it didn't scale. So I, I started. Uh, so I pushed it. I pushed the code on on uh, GitHub, and suddenly people started uh, committing, uh, sending me pull requests. This adding like styling support and whatever. And all these pull requests they looked like this. So this is styling, and then was flow, and so basically all it like all changed is these things. So it wasn't really. Dry. So this project kind of became a, a f like a, a much bigger thing uh, from from that point. Um, so lint stage now is solving uh, problems like it can run any any at any task, be it npm task or just any regular uh, shell command. It's easy to install via npm uh, or yarn. So it's an it's an npm. Uh, it's easy dis to distribute across the team. This is the whole purpose of it. So it's basically one lint stage or C file or part of a packet JSON, which is if you change it, everyone gets next uh, pool. And it's easy, it's really easy to use because developer experience is something I really care about. Um, and that brings me to kind of a future with a question mark because um, whereas this one long standing issue, I'm kind of fighting this 
for more than a year now. So it's, it was opened on 6th of October. Uh, funnily enough, uh, in it, it originated from Max Stever's uh, React boilerplate originally. So it's uh, kind of all connected. Um, this is the cool thing about his project because many, many people are using it and they came up to this, like they they discovered that bug because I kind of, I I wasn't aware of it at the moment. And this issue kind of, took a while to, you know, to make even the screenshot. So lots of <laughs> discussion happened and lots of ideas were proposed that I tried um, for this almost year and a half. And today I actually wanted to introduce something cool uh, and basically close the issue. And I worked hard for past couple of days to, to do this, uh, but unfortunately I still need to reopen it. Yeah, I, I couldn't solve it. But the idea behind it was simple. It, it should be, have been working like, like magic, you know? And I have even a screen video from today um, where I... So this partially staged problem is like when you have this hunk so you want, like, I want to commit only the first thing, but I don't want linters to yell at me for the second part. And so now I just pick the hunks I, I want to commit. Uh, so the whole idea is like, ignore everything that I don't want to commit uh, during the hook. Uh, and now I will be checking it in, so committing it. Um, so it kind of works. Um, so it only, if you if you see, it only picked up this change. So this is the only uh, diff I have, as expected. But there are still some some problems when I try to restore the state. Um, so um, and all these like ideas I have tried are, are coming from open source, which I have a huge credit to to be part of. And I'm kind of like today I'm kind of looking for help because I kind of stuck with this issue and I really want it, like I, I really want it to be solved. And, and yeah, so if like, if you think you are proficient with Git and you know how like all these low level commands work, please come to me and talk to me or, or go to this repo and like command and help me solve this issue. And I really want to do a quick shout out to my maintainers. Uh, so the project got two, um, two maintainers now that help me resolving issue. So this is also kind of call for action. So if you feel like you want to start contributing, um, it's probably a good project to start because sometimes we just have issues that needs to be answered uh, or some documentation updates. So yeah, uh, if you want to be part of this, jump in and I will add you to, re to the repository. And to recap, I want to finish my talk by saying that forget this shit because this is not important. And I kind of ask you to focus on real problems, on stuff that matters. And I want to thank you for your attention. <laughs>